John Arryn's body is laid out in state in the throne room of the Red Keep in King's Landing. Jamie and Cersei discuss John's attempts to learn the truth about their incestuous relationship and his failure to do so. Later, news of John's death reaches Eddard at Winterfell, who is shocked and upset as he considered John a second father. Catelyn then receives a letter from Lysa accusing House Lannister of murdering John. When Eddard attends his first small council meeting in King's Landing, he is shocked to learn that the realm is six million gold dragons in debt, and refuses to believe that Aaron would let this happen. Pycelle and Renly explain to Eddard that while John gave wise and prudent advice, Robert did not always follow it. Aaron had asked Pycelle for the lineages and histories of the great houses of the Seven Kingdoms, a book detailing genealogies of the nobility, which notes the hereditary preponderance for black hair in House Baratheon. Eddard is told that Aaron visited an armorer, Topo Mott, several times before his death and also talked with his apprentice Gendry, inquiring about his mother. On meeting Gendry, Eddard realizes almost immediately that he is King Robert's bastard son. On the day Aaron died, he met with Wigan, a prostitute at Littlefinger's brothel. She showed him her infant daughter, Vara, who was fathered by Robert. Varys privately warns Eddard that he thinks Aaron was murdered by an unknown party for asking too many questions, using a rare and untraceable poison known as the Tears of Lys.